Now say, we understood what are the primary sources, what are the secondary sources and tertiary sources of information. Now let's see what are the methods of collecting information. We have also discussed this in statistics. Now see, the techniques of collecting data would be a census method. What happens in this? Each and every unit of would be surveyed or associated any unit which is associated with a particular problem would be studied for example if i want to study about the population of india so the entire 1.25 population of india would be studied and surveyed this is also known as complete enumeration survey method the best example of this is when the government of india on a 10 yearly basis conducts the census okay sample method what happens in sample method instead of surveying the entire population the sample would be collected and based on that sample the information collected from these samples the publication would be done or maybe the information shared so sample technique data is collected about from a sample or a group of people group of items okay from the entire population they would be examined based on the examination the conclusions would be drawn sample here would be considered to be the representative of the whole population decisions generally is after comparing analyzing and evaluating the cost involved accuracy required time involved type of information required and type of informants from whom the information is required so these are the parameters based on which you will decide whether you should go for census method or would you go for sample method okay so if i have to be absolutely sure about my findings then instead of going for a sample method maybe i would prefer a census method so this is how the census or sample method is decided